the format Visual Pane is used to customize or style the appearance of visuals. It allows to control the look of a chart or table. It helps in setting properties like colors, text sizes, labels, titles, legends, axes, grid lines, and more. There are two parts in the Format Visual section. Visual and General Now, click on any of the bar charts that you prepared before. The Y-axis and X-axis control the appearance and behavior of the chart's axes, including title, labels, color, and scale. Click on the Y-axis menu. You can customize the font style, size, and colors of Y-axis elements. You can also customize the title of the Y-axis. Edit the axis name and change font styles. You can also set the minimum height of this axis. Similarly, you can also customize the styling of the x-axis. The legend option will help to customize the legend section of the chart. We can set the position of legend in a chart, exactly in which location we want to show it. For example, if we click on bottom center, it will be in the center position of the bottom of a chart. We can also customize the font styles of the legend texts. And can change the title of the legend. The Slices option controls the appearance of the individual slices of the pie chart. This includes the color of the slices. And the inner radius for the donut chart. The Bars options for bar charts, or Columns options for column charts, allows to customize the color of the visual. The transparency, border setting, and some layout features. The Detail Labels option adjusts the position of the labels in the pie chart. We can choose to show the category name, data values, and percent of the total. We can also adjust the font style, the display label unit, and decimal places. The rotation option allows to rotate the chart to change the angle and orientation of the slices.
If our chart has small multiples feature, it enables creating multiple instances of the same chart, split by a category, to compare across those categories. From the small multiple section, we can set the layout of the visual. We can specify the rows and columns of the visual grid. We can also change the grid style, the grid line color, and the grid width. The background option helps us to change the background color for each multiple. Similarly, we can set the position of each section's title. The grid lines will help us to customize the horizontal and vertical grid lines of the chart. We can change the style, the color, and line width. Zoom slider option allows us to zoom in and out the chart axis. There are options to on and off this feature, show the slider labels, and show the tooltips. Lines feature allows to customize the appearance of the lines in a line chart. Such as line style as solid, dashed or dotted. Thickness of the line. Line type as linear, smooth or stepped. And the color of the line. It can enhance visual emphasis on the data trends or relationships. For area charts, we can also customize the shade area. Markers are used to highlight the individual data points along the lines. They can be formatted in terms of shape, size, and colors. We can also stylize markers for scatter charts. Ribbons help to add shaded areas between bars and columns. We can change the color of the ribbons. Increase or decrease transparency. Add borders. And add some space between bars and ribbons. It can enhance visual emphasis on the data trends. With data labels, we can show specific values for each data point. We can set the orientation of the labels horizontally or vertically. Position of the labels.
The series name can also be shown near the labels. You can stylize the label's font style, and the label unit and decimal places can also be set. For map visuals, from the map settings option, we can change the base map style. We can adjust the controls of the map. Zoom buttons can be added to zoom in or zoom out the map manually. With lasso button features, we can select some specific geo points from the map. With bubble settings, we can change the size of the points. and the colors of the bubbles. The heat map option is used to display the density of data points on a map. It applies a color gradient to show areas with higher concentrations of data points, which can reveal patterns or clusters within the data. Column headers adjust the appearance of the table's column headers, such as background color, font style, and text alignment. Specific column option used to apply formatting to a particular column in the table, allowing for column-specific customization. We can change the text color, background color, alignment of the value, display units, and decimal places. Cell elements used to adjust specific properties of the cell contents, like color scales, data bars, icons or conditional formatting to visualize data directly within cells. We can set conditional bars for a specific column based on the row values. Icons can also be set using logical conditions. From the General tab, we can set the basic properties of the visual. Heights and widths. Position of the visual. And some paddings.
paddings will increase or reduce the extra spaces surrounding the visual. We can set the title of a visual, change its font style, adjust the alignment, and some other customization. From the Effects option, we can change the background colors of the visual. Borders surrounding the visual. And some external shadows. Shadow positions can be set from different directions. The tooltips option allows to customize the information displayed when we hover over different elements in a visual. With this option, we can change the background color, the font style, and can add transparency to the information. We can change any of the field names in a visual. By double-clicking in the fields, it allows us to rename it. We can also define the calculation method of numeric fields. If we right-click here and choose Average, the calculation of sales field will be now on average instead of sum. We can also display the value as a percentage of grand totals. Stay tuned for more videos to develop your data visualization skills. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon, so you don't miss out on our upcoming tutorials. Thank you for watching.